For those of you who wish to disassemble your M4, here's a how-to video. This model is a Classic Army M15A4 carbine. Anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is look at the stock and this little lever that pulls out the lock. There's a little nut-looking thing right here. I'm not have to use pliers for this. Classic Armies are very tight. Pull it out all the way and that will release it to come off and it will review, reveal the, the stock guide. Stock comes off and put that aside. Second thing you want to, want to do, I want to take a number two hex key, unscrew the screw, Once that happens, this little piece is going to come off, and it's going to reveal that. You're going to want to take the screw out, put it aside. Next thing you can do is, on the front of the gun, for Classic Army, there are two body screws that you need to remove with a number, I believe, three hex key. Just unscrew the body pins. On most Tokyo Marie Echo 1 models, they will just unscrew and you won't even need to. They're not unscrew. Just come right out. There's one screw. Here's the second screw. And now you want to remove your body pins. To do this, tap it out or push it out, whatever you prefer. First body pin will come out easy. Second body pin. It's odd. Now, you need to very carefully. If you haven't done this prior, you should remove the fore grip. Put that aside. Detach the wires. Aside. Now you'll have the two wires right here, which should carefully should guide them out of the front of the foregrip. Now you can put aside the upper receiver because that is not needed. Next thing you can do, there's a spring guide and screw in there. You can't see that. You unscrew the screw that is attached to the spring guide, which is in the mech box. The screw actually goes from here into the mech box. And once you've unscrewed that, the spring will come out. The guide will come out. And the, spring, or the screw will come out. Once you've got that, you've got nothing but your lower receiver and gearbox exposed. Next thing you're going to do is take the smallest hex key, 1.5, and on the magazine release, there's a hex key you're going to need to remove. So get to that. I would recommend holding down the magazine release while unscrewing because Magazine, magazine release is spring loaded, so it might pop off. Here comes the first piece in the screw. Then you're going to want to flip it over, and this fell out. It's part of the magazine release. Last but not least, the spring. Now, this came off the butt stop. Now, I didn't even get around to tapping this out. It's my second body pin, which also holds the gearbox in. Now comes the hard part. Right there is a body pin holding the entire gearbox in. You're going to want to tap that out carefully with whatever you choose to. I'm going to use a whatever that thing. I'm going to put it on the on the pin. Take a screwdriver. Tap it out. 
until it's starting to come out. Grab a pair of pliers. Pull the rest out. Without scratching your body, like I just did. Of course, one of the most important steps I missed was the motor. You're going to need to unscrew these two screws and the center screw with a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to get to the center screw first. After doing this, this screw will come out. Next, the two screws on the that hold the plate in. Might give you some resistance by manufacturer whatever you screwed in last time. And the second one is right in here. You want to be careful not to strip the screws. That could be a problem. Now that I've <coughs> excuse me, now that I've got both screws unscrewed, I'm going to take off the motor cover. Should come off if you unscrew the damn screws. Furthermore, here comes the motor cover. Two screws. Put those aside as well. Within, there are two wires connecting to the motor. You're going to want to disconnect those. Positive side of the motor is always facing towards the front of the gun. Remember that, it's very important. Two wires are disconnected from the motor. The motor comes right out. Now there are, <clears throat> there are two screws within the, uh, the pistol grip that you need to remove. You can't see them right now, but they're going to take the entire grip off and these wires are going to come out holes in the pistol grip. Let me ask the screws. Now we are free to remove the pistol grip. Once again, be careful not to rip your wires. Carefully pull them out. You'll have your two screws that go along with the pistol grip. And the pistol grip where the motor is held. Now the next move is a quite easy one. Now that you have your entire lower receiver disassembled, all we need to do is carefully remove the gearbox. And there's your lower receiver. Go to video two if you'd like to see the gearbox disassembly, the internals. That's right! Black dogs have come again, again, man.